Generic greetings and welcome back to Academia once again in the previous episode we got the male and female toilet sorted and I really hope the animation for washing your hands and going to the toilet is different. Uh, yes it is, yes. Yeah, they do a little shake when they finish using the urinal and uh, the in, in the cubicle but when they wash their hands they sort of rub them together. That's fine, I was going to say that's a bit iffy if it's not. Uh, we also got the, uh, the club done as well as the clinic but there was a bit of a problem and to do with this, you can see there's a difference here. I was thinking, why? what's going on here? You know, obviously this is like a, a nice tile whereas this is just concrete and I couldn't for the life of me figure it out until I realised that actually that's just because of the object outline tool. I've just outlined these walkways and it made it look like that which is nice that's good it just didn't occur to me I'm used to prison architect where if you or well for a start when you use this on the outside it doesn't actually go over the objects it goes underneath them see that or, or rather it, the objects cancel it but or some of them do it seems but when you build in prison architect it will automatically remove the the planning bit whereas it doesn't in this so it just threw me a little bit either way we're gonna actually do, we're gonna use the object outline tool on the walkways because it does look aesthetically better I feel uh, or not on the inside just on the outside um, just so it has you the, you've got a nice contrast between the the blank concrete and the outside so it does look like tiles so that's what we'll do anyway I've also got a problem with these bins. I believe they don't save their orientation because they're ran when I load the game, they're randomly spinning around. These ones on the side seem to be okay, but look at this one. This one, I'm pretty sure we fixed, but no, it's it's not. It's a bit weird. So what I'm going to do is remove them. There we go. Uh, I've, I've already set them planning on there, and uh, we'll we'll redo it. Let's just go over to club because I know that's where there's a trash can, and then we're going to rotate them around. That is definitely the right order. That way there. That way there. We're just going to double check that way there that were there and then finally that one there so let's just see what happens when we load it up on the next episode anyway so in this episode what we want to do uh, is get this other um, other classroom up and running it's going to be here so we just need to double check the size of this thing is it is a 12 by 12 by 11 so it is 11 and then down here and then it's 12 like that so let's just double check that once more so it is 11 by 12. Yep, that seems about right to me. Okay, so we'll go to object outline along the edge, up, and then across. And then, naturally, blue walls. We'll get this one up and running. We need to get more students because, quite frankly, we are running, I wouldn't say low on cash, but we are running down on cash. So it's something we do want to solve sooner rather than later. So let's just place all of this. This is going to be our... Um, it's going to be a different amount of students. We're going to be, uh, where is it? It is not that one. That's our total finances list, which you can see is um, in the negative. But we need to go to transfer E and we need to get some of these students here, these sophomore students. So we're going to go with 32 like we've got previously. And the reason I'm doing it now is because it does take three days for them to arrive. They don't just turn up immediately. So you need to make sure that we pre we, we basically have to sort of pre-order them, which uh, I never recommend pre-orders. So just, just don't bother. Okay, so uh, zones uh, over to class. Clicky, clicky, draggy, draggy on the class. It says freshman's classroom but that will be changed once we've um, sorted that out. Uh, there is no clone tool in the game, so we're going to have to do it manual. So let's just go ahead and crack on with that. I'm just hoping that they don't start... Oh, I was going to say that... I hope they don't start um, coming to this location, but they shouldn't because there's not a teacher assigned to the classroom. We do assign the teachers to the classroom, so I'm hoping that that... Uh, is okay. Let's go over to a club, then a trash can, two of those trash cans like so, and that is now a legitimate room. It says freshman's classroom, but obviously we do need to go to edit zone, click on that, edit the classroom, and then we'll change that to sophomore. And you can change the current, you can change the name and also this current teacher, but currently there's no teacher. Not going to bother hiring a teacher yet, because it's going to take three days for them to turn up, so there's no need. But what I do want to do is have another cafeteria because at the moment the cafeteria here is okay but it's also it's just, it's just not going to be big enough so we do need to have another cafeteria somewhere and now I could put it on this side but I'm I'm sort of going against that because I think I really want this to be the edge of the edge of the school you see so what I might do instead I could move the entire operation somewhere else and make it bigger probably not a great idea um I think instead what we'll do is just build another cafeteria and expand the kitchen. The kitchen is not the biggest it can be. Uh, all we need to do really is go to the next day, apparently. We need to go to kitchen. 
and then get a refrigerator put in like so and then a stove we can have one two three so that's expanded it four there we go that's doubled the amount of cookers we've got as you can see they are making uh i don't really know but it's all one big stew yeah there you go so you've got you've got sort of a curry type thing you got like a mixed green vegetables with some carrots in there you got some like some chinese pork or something like that and then i think that's some eggs who knows either way that bin's full so they need to re need to empty that we do have a garbage uh, a trash dumpster there so there's a big garbage can big biffer bin or something other refuse disposal companies are available i'm gonna rotate rate that round and get another couple in one there one there you see just so we can dump up more i don't think you i don't know if you need more but we we'll, might as well try it so we there are three three students are absent due to sickness so that's better than the uh, 10 that it was previously so that's okay um i think we require another janitor i think uh, two more janitors would be worth it and also another cook um so let's have a quick think where are we gonna put our other cafeteria well we could put it here um ideally though i would like the i would like the cafeteria and kitchen to be in one place so we could think big and have a really really big cafeteria here like we're talking let's have a quick look wall outline like this like that would be the cafeteria which has uh, it's actually about twice as big as that one so if assuming you had your entrance there that's a four by three four you would just have them yeah you just have them lined up so you would just have three there three there three there in fact you could even if you really wanted to you could have three 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 and then you have your um other whatchamacallit there where you dispense the stuff like the plate uh, dispenser and the hot plate so you could have that there okay um but what would, what would we do with this cafeteria that is the question could remove it eventually and make that into a computer lab or something no real reason why we can't do that and this is but this is only only going to be big enough for this and this for Four classrooms. No, that should be big enough, I think. Okay, we'll go with it, but we're going to do something else before we do that. Do that. And that. And object outline. Next it. Um, I want a wall outline there. 11. 11, is it? Right, so 11 to there. Should be the right size. That's 11. That's 11. Okay, so. Uh, why can't I erase that bit? There we go. So, that's going to be two cafeterias. The kitchen, I'll probably put here. Something like that. And then these rooms will become something else. So, we'll slowly move them over. That's probably the better way to do it. Right, okay. So, brick wall. Build one of them first. And have a door and then concrete tile fairly it's a fairly big amount it's a lot of money actually 16 grand money's going down should have eight grand tomorrow just from bringing them in and also we're gonna get um more money from having them here go over to staff go to the teacher and we want to get the person with the highest qualifications which is not someone with three stars so we will say find more there we go there's someone and oh there's ryan sumo there's ryan that's the artist of the game uh okay we will hire you and you can go in there ryan cool so there's that sorted uh oh, good grief look at that apparently the club is very very popular yeah look at that it's rotating the bins randomly they're sorted, but they're not. They're not. Hang on, they've they've changed again. Look, yeah, it's rotating the bins. 
Um, it's to do with them being full. I thought it was when I was not looking at them. Hang on, it may be. Look at that. That's just weird. <laughs> They're randomly rotating. I think it was to do with when the full or when I'm not looking at it. Either way, I... It is very strange. Okay, layout, arrays, remove that layout. Objects, and actually no, we'll, we'll probably put the concrete tile in there first. We'll go up the zones, and then we'll add the cafeteria, like so. And I think it's probably best if I... The question is, if I dismantle these benches, where do they go? That's the question. If they're dismantled, just flung in the bin, then it is not worth me doing it. No, they are just removed. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll buy them. Uh, so we'll go over to uh, zones, cafeteria done, uh, objects, cafeteria, bench will go in there, and it does cost, yeah. So regardless of what I do, I'm going to have to buy them all again. So as long as I understand that, I'm... As long as I understand it, that's fine. So max speed... Obviously, they're still using this cafeteria. We will remove this cafeteria at some point. Um, it does say... So, more students completed. How is it completed? Oh, because we've got the classroom, right? Okay. Um, expanding horizons... Uh, no, school expansion, get 50, get 50 people, 50 students. Well, we've already got 32, and we're going to get more tomorrow anyway, according to this. Yes, tomorrow. So we should be fine. We will go to objects and then the food counter. So we can have one, two, one, two, three food counters, but that's it. So what we'll have is a food counter in the on the left and right. In the center, a plate. And then on the far left and right, we will have a bin that is apparently like a weeping angel because it moves when you don't look at it. Okay. And then we'll max that out, and we'll see what happens. So how are these guys doing? Fun's going down, energy's going down, blood is going down, well, yeah, but they're getting taught. Look at that. Subjects, 100 out of 100 for everything, or almost everything apart from science and a bit of PE. So that should be fine. So, the problem I have now is lack of cash. Not just that, though. Um... It's that the kitchen is quite a distance away from here. See, they're going in... Ah, see that? They went in there, and it didn't get utilised. What I'm going to have to do, then? Zones, edit zone, this one, remove zone. So this is no longer a cafeteria. Let's get rid of it. Let's, um... Can we go to objects and dismantle? Is there a dismantle ob in here? Yes, there is. Uh, yeah, there we go. So I can dismantle all of the cafeteria. But today we'll get some money, so we should get them today. Oh yeah, 32 transferry students are coming tomorrow. Tomorrow? Today, it means. <laughs> okay, fine. So we're removing all of this cafeteria area. The kitchen's still in there. There is our pile of students. There they go. They've all turned up. I don't know if the a pile is generally the uh, accepted term for students, but whatever. There's a lot of students turned up. They're all going straight to the club. And that immediately means I think we need a bigger club. Yeah, we're going to have to get a bigger club at some point. And they're not using the bins, thank you very much. Anyway, so. This cafeteria is sorted. That kitchen is probably too small. What I might do then, I could even make this the kitchen. And these, this this the club, because the club apparently is something that they, yeah, use. They, they really want a big club. But then that'll probably be too small a kitchen. So that'll probably become something else. So we're going to have to move a lot of things around. So 10 students are absent due to illness. Uh, but we do have our school expansion completed. If we just go over to transfer, you can see it's not set to anything now, which is good. Over to the to-do list. And we will have... Um, build a faculty room. Possessing full faculties. Well, we don't have that. Um, I think it would probably be worth us... Going for that, actually, yes. And then maybe this could be the faculty room, and this could be the uh, the club. Okay. Right, so, we need to sort the kitchen out, and I think the kitchen will go up here. Or do I want to put it on the right? At least if it's on the right here, we can be fairly big, and then they just have to come along. 
putting it up here sort of limits a couple of things. Uh, I think we'll put it here. Okay, so layout, object, have that along and down. That would be the size of the cooking area. That should be more than adequate considering the size of the, the cookers in here because they're only one tile. So wall outline will be along and down and across like that. So it's only a four by, what, like 19? 18, close enough. And the minimum size has to be... Uh, zones. Kitchen, four by four. So that would, that would be acceptable. Okay, we'll go with that. Uh, the entrance to these areas will be... Probably there and there. Are they having a pee in the bush? Yes, that's exactly what they were doing. There's toilets here. What? Why would you, Chin? Why would you do that? That that's just no. I mean, I can understand getting caught short, but why would you? When the not going to question it. <laughs> these kids getting dragged up these days. Not even taught how to use a toilet. Not even potty trained. Right, okay. So, um, we'll go with the, a, a nice white tile because it is the kitchen. Um, I know we did that in brick, but I think it'll match these ones here. And the entrance to this will be... Do we want it right in the centre? Realistically, they're going to go from the delivery, so we want it this side. So, there. That'll do us quite nicely. All right. And a staff door in there. And like I say, this one, I'll knock the wall down, and this will be our club. Because, uh, as you can see, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's not really working out too well, is it? No, okay. So we are receiving 1,244 generic units of currency per day, which is pretty nice. Uh, we do need to have a nice kitchen zone in here. Actually, yeah, that's a thing. This should have been kitchen zone. Oh, I can't change this kitchen zone. I'm going to have to remove all of the floor. Uh, I'm not too fond on deleting the entire floor, quite frankly. It looks like they are getting food, but it's... Is it becoming a problem? Mm, oh, yes. It is. Look at that. Ooh, lack of food. Right, we need to sort that out. Get the kitchen done sooner rather than later. Okay, so we will have kitchen sink. Um, can we have one there and one there? Technically we can, but it'll look really stupid. So we're not going to. Um, we'll have one there, one there. And we'll have the stoves this side. And the refrigerators all the way along the back. Four, five, six, that'd fit in, that's fine. That should do it. Okay. And that should be a legitimate kitchen. And what I'll do is I'll go to zones, edit zone, that, and remove the zone. So they should immediately move to the next one, which they are. Objects, all dismantle, remove all of that. You can dismantle those as well while we're at it. And then... Demolish the brick wall in the middle. So the kitchen's working. He says without any degree of confidence because it isn't working. Because they've got no stuff in the freezer. Is it the problem with deliveries? Don't think so. There's a possibility. Uh, layout... Start a raise, need to remove. Oh no, we can't. Need to raise these, you see. Because we've got double planning on the walls and doors, you see, it looks a bit silly. Just make sure I remove all of these. There you go. But then go back over. Uh, that bit. There we are. Right. So, that's another day. Day 8 now. Um, our grade <laughs> overall is F, 
that's passing rate f cleanliness b the reason it says passing rate f is because technically we have no passing rate whatsoever so we get the lowest result possible because we haven't had any passing out yet we are no, none of that so uh, do we want that's kitchen this might as well as stairs kitchen because quite frankly it's uh it's too expensive to redo the whole thing um, and this is going to be our club, so we want a club, table, in the corners, like that. So the entrance will be there and there. And the rest will be bricked up. Okay. With a concrete tile, like so. So you can see... Both classes are getting taught now. This is good. Food is good. So hopefully it's all working. What I might do, and it should be a bit more efficient if I do this, put a door there it means they don't have to go all the way down and then up. They can just go straight in. That's probably a bit better. It'll probably work out. And then we'll change this to a club, you see. 17 grand, like I say, we're getting 1,384 days. Uh, 13 students absent due to sickness, which is not great. What we'll do, though, we'll move the club over to this area. So let's crack on with that. So club, table. Um, and there's going to be a bit of a gap at the top, but no matter. Um, like I say, it's just a bit bigger than the other one. A lot more room, you see. Um, we will have trash cans in. Not that it's going to matter too much, because I think they mainly ignore it. Uh, <laughs> we'll put them in the end there. Uh, hang on. One there, one there, one there. Then we'll dismantle that one, and we'll see what else we can have in here. Um, we've got planters. Let's have a quick look. We've got potted plants. We've got lockers. Don't currently have lockers, so that might be a nice thing to, to put in. It doesn't even say what lockers are used for. You've also got uh, water fountain. Now oh, that might be a nice thing for a, for the club. What I'll do is I'll dismantle the trash cans there. Then I'll dismantle all the trash cans here because they're in a fairly terrible position. Um, I've got a UI problem. There we go. So we will have oh windows as well. We don't actually have any windows. It would be decent to have windows. Let's put some windows in here. Um, and that'll be in between the lockers, you see. Locker. There and there. Yeah, we might go ahead and put some windows in, the, in and around the place, because uh, we currently don't have any. So I'm trying to think. Where am I going to put the... Well, the bins are going to go down the bottom. The magical rotating bins. And... We'll have. There's also a clock as well, which we haven't placed. You know what? Let's let's start making things a bit posh. Posh. You have a clock. Apparently, if you have a clock, it's posh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll put some clocks in there. That's fine. You can see they're all standing around, but they're not getting food. Why you no work? Why you no work? I don't know why that's not working at all. That's that's uh, not good. Because if the kitchen's broke, then we are well and truly screwed. Well, I'll wait for the next day and I'll see what happens. But if we're not feeding the students, they're not going to learn, which means we're going to fail and that's all bad. So let's just see what happens. They're going to come in. They're going to head around, yeah, so that's the, that's the nurses. Going to have Janet come in and clean up, that's fine. Then all the students. How many cooks do I have? It is, uh, cooks five. What I'll do then. There's a couple more. For some reason, all the food's sitting in the delivery. And it ain't getting brought. 
This is bad. 34 students uh, missing the place due to sickness, mainly because they've got malnutrition. Right, I'm going to have to try and sort this out because that is broken. <laughs> Either way, that'll be it for this episode. A nice little uh, moving of things. So we've got the canteen put in, we've got the kitchen. Obviously, this is going to be our new club. Either way, done quite well, but this is a game-breaking problem, and I don't know whether it's something that I've done that I can easily fix, or whether there's another issue somewhere. Either way, hope you have enjoyed the video. Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.